Lobby Tools, legislative news and information systems, on the web at lobbytools.com. 24 schools in Florida are considered failing. Students from those schools can receive a state voucher to attend a better school in their district, but just 1,400 students are using the vouchers. Governor Rick Scott and the state legislature want to expand the school choice program. Representative Brad Drick says options will improve education. Anytime you give a child an opportunity to learn in a, in a, a different environment, you know, something more suitable, more comfortable to them and the parents, I, I say all for it. A bill to allow a student from a failing school to not just leave the school, but leave the district is moving in the legislature. House Democrat Geraldine Thompson says simply leaving a failing school doesn't ensure academic success. The data show that students who leave a quote unquote failing school and go to another school do no better at the second school than they did at the school uh, where they were. The definition of a failing school is expanded under the legislation. Right now, state law defines a failing school as any school that's received two F grades in a four year period. But the bill would redefine failing to include D's. The change would add dozens of schools to the failure rolls, making thousands of students eligible to leave. Children learn differently, and not everybody learns the same way, and so it's important that in empowering the parent, you're also empowering the child. The vouchers can only be used to transfer to traditional public schools or charter schools, but a constitutional amendment is in the works that could pave the way for the vouchers to be used at private religious schools. In Tallahassee, I'm Whitney Ray reporting.